So the first thing about electrical, for whatever reason, more so than any other topic that we talk about, is that it's like you have to drill it into your head. And so I say the same things over and over and over, and I try to say them in different ways in hopes that it gets in. And I think what happens in a lot of cases is when I talk theory, here's, here's my theory about what happens when I talk theory. My theory is, is that I'm talking theory and, and guys just sort of let it drone on in their head and they don't hear it because they're thinking, eh, that doesn't really apply to what I do. I don't really understand how that applies. But the reality is that in electrical, the theory is essential to diagnosis and building up circuits because that's really the two things you need to do with electrical is you need to be able to figure out what's wrong and you need to be able to build up a circuit from scratch to solve a problem. So um, there's a lot of different applications for needing to build up circuits, but understanding how to build up circuits also helps you learn how to diagnose them. All right, so let's start with the, let's start with the thing that I keep hammering in, which is that you, you require two points in order for electrons to move. You always require two points for electrons to move, which means that when you're using a meter, you're always using two points on the meter, you're using two meter leads, right? You follow that? Which means that whenever, whenever I ask you, what are you reading? The answer should be, I'm reading X volts between this point and this point. Now, amperage you read on a circuit, but still, in order for there to be amps, in order for there to be a movement of electrons, there has to be two points of differential charges, okay? Two points of differential charges. And so, if you think of a simple battery, so here, uh, here we're going we're gonna to draw L1 and L2. This is what we see a lot. We work on a lot of heat pumps. And so we have 120 volts plus and minus on this side and 120 volts minus and plus on this side. And so in a 240 volt circuit, we're building a circuit in between these two points. But in the case of a battery, we're building a circuit in between the positive and negative sides of the battery. So now this point here and this point here become the same as the two different legs of 240. No matter what you're working on, there's always two points and you're building a circuit in between those two points. And most of the confusion that I see guys make when they are connecting, um, you know, using the board or in a, in a system is that they, they start to think in terms of the individual component and they don't have the entire circuit in mind. You always have to keep the entire circuit in mind, okay? So let's build a basic electrical circuit here. So we go out of one side of the battery and we can go through a switch. And then we can go through, say, a light bulb. Draw it like a light bulb. That is a basic electrical circuit, okay? But we're gonna, we're gonna help organize this even a little bit further. We have what we call line and load sides of a switch. So this is the line side of a switch going in and load side of the switch coming out. The load side of a switch is the connection point. They, this, you know, this is a conductor, so this would be like a wire. The load side of a switch is the wire, the conductor, that's in between the switch and the load. Thus, load side, right? Makes sense? Everybody following that? Line side is the power coming in or the conductor between the power source and the switch. That's an important terminology because when you're organizing a circuit, you can't confuse line and load, all right? Now, are there cases where you could have multiple switches? Let's say we put another switch in here. Put another switch in here. So we got, we got multiple switches, and if any one of these switches is open, meaning it's not making contact, then the light won't light up, right? But how do we use line and load when we have multiple switches? Well, we would say, we would say this is the line side of this switch, and this is the load side of this switch. This is the line side of this switch, this is the load side of this switch. Follow that? The side of the switch that's nearer line is the line side of a switch, the side of the switch that's near the load is the load side of the switch. And in this case, the light is the load. 